Hello there, this is Dave Allen for No Stylus and today we're going to have a look at Audio Evolution Mobile and it's been updated and they've put some nice new icons in there. So the record button looks better, the play button and the stop button, they'll look much nicer than they did before, as do the buttons at the top as well, where it says scroll and edit and range and all those ones at the top there. So let's have another look and see what we can do with other things available within this application. We did some basic editing last time, this time we can have a look at the range tool. So let's stop our recording and see what we've got. So we're in track 2 at the moment, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the edit mode, first of all. I'm going to take that and I'm going to put it up on track 1. Okay, zoom into that there, take that there, move it, put it into track 1. So there we go, we've got track 1 there, look. And see it was recorded in track 2, but it's now in track 1. So I'm going to zoom into it there, I'm doing a uh, pinch out with my fingers and I'm able to zoom into it, and I can zoom in really close to that. And if I do a pinch out vertically, I can zoom in that way as well. So let's choose the range tool there, and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to press and hold, move over to the right a little bit, and I can see what I'm selecting there, and I'm going to select just that bit. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go for a hold down on that there, and I'm going to tell it to copy range. Let's go back to the scroll tool again, so now what I can do is I can do stuff with this here, I can zoom out a wee bit, and change the size of the tracks as well. Let's go into track 2. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to hold down on this point here and I'm going to um, go back to the range tool because that's not what I wanted there. So I go to the range tool there, so if I press and hold down there now, then I can do a paste range. And the bit that I took out above, I can put back in there below. So let's go to the scroll mode first of all. Let's move that across there and zoom into it as well. Okay, so there we go, we've got our track there, and also what I can do is I can go to the edit mode. Can I take this track there and extend it outwards? I can, so if I haven't got the exact right bit that I wanted, so maybe I want to have an extra bit there, I can change the size of that bit there now, so that's quite good. So, that's pretty neat, I like that, that's good. So, let's go back to the range tool, so back in the range tool again, and I'm going to tap and hold down there, and I'm going to take to clear the range. And now what I want to do is I'm going to select more than one track on the range. So I'm going to start up here, and I'm moving across. You see I've only just got one track there, and now if I move the finger down below, I'm selecting two tracks. Now the reason that you might want to select multiple tracks and do some copy and pasting is because you've got all the timing set up between the tracks, and you want to paste it back in and have those timings preserved. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to tap on that there, I'm going to tell it to cut the range this time. So we've cut that bit out there. What I should do then is I should go to the uh, scroll mode so I can uh, do what I want with it. So let's go to this point at the end here. And I'm going to do a paste there of the range. So back to the range tool again, press and hold down that there and paste. And as you can see it pasted the two tracks in there for me and that's worked rather nicely. So there you go, some cutting and pasting using Audio Evolution Mobile. And as I say, you can do a cut and paste of multiple tracks if you want to. And you can also do a thing where, let's go back to the edit mode. So let's, for instance, say with this, this track one here, we want to uh, make it a bit longer. So we can paste things across, and then we can change the size of clips after that as well if we want to. So we've got exactly the bit that we need to paste in there and get it working just right. But we've still got the timings just right in relation to the other tracks. So there you go, that's Dave Allen talking about Audio Evolution Mobile using the range tool. Bye-bye now, talk to you again soon.